Regardless of which genre of anime you prefer, a good fight scene is always worth watching. Whether it's a 1 vs 1 or a 1 vs 100, the thrill that comes with watching your favourite character brawl it out is almost priceless. From the classic OP characters to the high adrenaline and bloody sword fights, we thought of making this list where we gather the top 10 fights of winter 2024. So, let's start this list off with... MASH vs Macron from Mashal Magic and Muscles. Now at first, this fight may seem a bit weird, as Margaret Macron looked like they were from Jojo, but it just made this completely hilarious. Macron threw every spell they had on their arsenal, and at first it looked like Mash was going to be defeated, especially since his ears kept bleeding, and it even looked like they knocked Mash out, which is an absolute feat in itself. But, like the usual duel in Mashal, Mash pulled out some crazy tactics, and his muscle magic was just too powerful. I mean, he kept beating Macron. This battle was just full of amazing impact frames, and the animators went wild. It was smooth, epic, and flashy, and not to mention the sound effects in the OST were just epic. It perfectly captured the intensity of the fight and had that little martial touch that made it even better. MASH gave us a strong start, but that was only one of the 10 fights we'll be talking about, and it's only going to get even crazier from here, because the next one can be considered a true JoJo reference. And it's none other than Himari vs Yachiho from Chain Soldier. Himari is the youngest daughter of the Azuma family, so this was a fight between her and Yuki against her older sister Yachiho. This wasn't an easy battle at all because Yachiho possesses the unfair ability called Golden Hour. She can manipulate time, being able to stop and rewind time for 5 seconds in a go. Her prime time move allows her to extend the time limit from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. It's a good thing Himari had Yuki in his speed form with her since the combo was able to vastly reduce the effectiveness of Golden Hour. Personally speaking, the way the time manipulation was animated looked amazing as the the entire atmosphere fit the ability. The rest of the fight looked great too, but best part was the fact that this was a duel between siblings and those always have some pretty deep emotions involved. The duel still didn't surpass the level of our next entry though. <laughs> Moving on we have Metal Rouge versus Viona from Metallic Rouge. This is a fight between a badass singer named Viola and an artificial human known as Rouge. And both of these girls can transform into combat forms that have such sick and awesome designs. The armor would make any Giver or Evangelion fan drool. Just like most of the entries, the animation here was just stellar, with every blow packing a serious punch. The choreography was astounding, and the way the two characters fought using their weapons was especially awesome to watch. The coolest weapon by far was the whip Viola used to initially send Rouge on the defensive, but luckily Rouge's sword was stronger. Perhaps the most underrated aspect of about this duel though was how hard the studio went with the soundtrack. The music was just an absolute banger which amplified the entire fight scene. Just watching this battle would get you interested in watching this new series and I'm all for it. Speaking of the new series, next up we have Ishura, Sojiro versus the Golems. Now this fight scene was pretty insane, but a bit of background before we start, okay? A city is attacked by a giant mechanical monster that deploys smaller golems. These golems decimate everything, and a girl named Yuno is forced to watch her friend get torn limb from limb. She's eventually saved by a badass with a sword named Sojiro, who takes out these monsters instantly. A horde of monsters wrecks a city with a gigantic monstrosity, and humanity's best soldier is a short guy with a blade. Sounds a lot like Attack on Titan and Levi, doesn't it? Now, going back to the main stuff, Sojiro against those golems and the giant land Labyrinth was just awesome to watch. Initially the golems looked so intimidating as they were killing people left and right and seemed overwhelming, but then Sojiro came along and cut them all up without even breaking a sweat. That enhanced the tone of the fight so well. And the animation and sound effects? <laughs> well, it made everything a hundred times better. Even the CGI was pretty good, and the way Sojiro's movements were choreographed was just awesome. It's completely unexpected from a relatively unknown series. So good.
Pushing through, we have the moment when Anajin gets serious in Buchigiri. In a school full of delinquents, an all-out brawl would be normal, wouldn't it? After Arajin and his friends were beaten down by the devilish Shindo, Arajin finally becomes serious when Mahoro, the cute high school crush, was attacked. But even before that, choreography was already exciting as Shindo took down the gang. It's just that it got way better when Arajin started taking things seriously. The way everything was animated and the emotions behind the encounter made it absolutely amazing. Up next, we have Jin Wu versus Kang from Solo Leveling. We just saw how devastating Sung Jin Wu can be when he fought against Huang and his men, but who'd have imagined that he would go up against one of the deadliest B rank assassins in the series? The entire duel was just assassin versus assassin, but what Kang didn't put into consideration was that Sung Jin Wu wasn't any normal hunter. I mean, Kang did deserve it, especially after he killed Mr. Kim, who was just about to redeem himself. Throughout the battle, Kang thought he had the upper hand and even used stealth, but that proved to be his downfall. The entire battle was just awesome and truly lived up to the hype. Seeing Jin Wu used bloodlust and his aura just overflowing was just awesome and menacing at the same time. Nothing could have prepared him for the darkness that was about to haunt him. We're wrapping the ante with this entry as this is a fight between two equally matched opponents in every way possible. We have Free Ren and Fern versus Free Ren. It's literally a duel between Free Ren and her clone is what I'm basically saying, with Fern mostly staying on the sidelines. Battles between two equally matched opponents are always wonderful to watch, but this one in particular was so great because both of them had the exact same abilities and battle strategy. Free Ren is a mage with immense mana output and over a thousand years of experience. She's crazy powerful to the point where only her clone made a good match for her. The fight was a stunning display of magic that filled the screen with vibrant colors and it was awesome to see Fern deal the final blow. This moment ranked as one of the best this winter in our opinion just for that itself. What made it even better was that it was all foreshadowed that if it wasn't the Demon King that killed Free Ren, then it would have been a human mage. Even with all of those good points, it still doesn't top the time Sun Raku fought against Weathermon from Shangri-La Frontier. <laughs> You know how in games you have to be really aware of how abilities work and you need to always prepare before a fight? Well, Sun Raku tends to be pretty well prepared, but this time his preparations fell short. And that's not a position you should be in when you're facing off against an armored samurai who can absolutely decimate you. Sun Raku's quick thinking let him activate the skill he needed to face off against this opponent and the clash that ensued was absolutely stunning. The sheer amount of detail in every frame just blew our minds. Like you can see every fragment, every clashing spark, even the detailed fractures in Weathermon's armor. The entire clash was on a whole other level, even better than the details in the Free Ren versus Free Ren fight. This series is just criminally underrated. <laughs> You thought that John Wick was the only badass around? Well, we have the moment where Higan fought the ninjas from Ninja Kamui that will give him a run for his money. You can see Higan's badassery perfectly in this fight scene where he fought an excessive amount of ninjas after literally forcing himself out of a wheelchair. Being hunted by these ninjas, Higan used their weapons against them and his ninjutsu to become an unstoppable force of nature. Top it all off, we got to see a first person view of Higan murdering them in the elevator. He simply left bodies upon bodies of ninjas as he went through the hospital and the choreography that accompanied that animation was on a whole other level. It was so fluid and intense, even the tempo of the background music perfectly contemplated the pace of this fight. This moment was one of the most brutal and intense displays of power we've recently seen and would have been ranked at the top of this list if it wasn't for the battle between Law and Blackbeard. The top place on this list belongs to the battle these two pirates waged and for good reason too.
Blackbeard's crew has some of the worst pirates around, while Law's crew seem much more docile in comparison. Maybe it's the matching suits. But this entry primarily focuses on Law fighting the Emperor Blackbeard. Law is one of the two characters who have currently fought three Emperors of the Sea, and boy does he show off his skills during this fight. Even though the outcome may not be what fans had hoped for, the moment was intense and the animation displayed how far One Piece has come since its beginning. Blackbeard's display of power was at the level that even Law's overpowered room was no match for. But what made it even better was the fact that they're just side characters and the Straw Hats are nowhere near this battle, yet Doei Animation made it a cinematic masterpiece. This fight had great pacing and animation and in our books it deserves the top spot on our list of the top 10 fights of winter 2024. And that ends our video on the top 10 fights of winter 2024. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below your favorite fight this winter 2024. But before you go, have you ever wondered what happens when old anime characters flex their power? Well, watch this next video to find out.